All right, New York Times best-selling author Larry Winget is also known as the pit bull of personal development, and he has a new book out called What's Wrong with Damn Near Everything? With his unfiltered truth and straight talk, Larry joining us this morning to talk about what he calls the collapse of core values and how it's destroying us and how to fix it. So good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks another uh, another uh, big book for you, huh? It is. Been working on this one for a while, and it's sort of based on everything that I think is wrong in the world. Well, one of the things you start talking about in the beginning of the book, I, if I get the gist of it, is people doing stupid things but blaming <laughs> others for it. Did I get that well, right? Sort of. Personal responsibility is pretty much the biggest issue that we have right now. And my point in the book is to show that everything that's going wrong is the result of the collapse of our core values. Things like honesty and integrity, mm -hmm. work ethic, fiscal responsibility, and self-sufficiency. Those things are pretty much gone. I mean, there's no doubt that time is different than when we were all kids, but when did this all happen, do you think? It happened when we allowed it to happen. Okay. And that's been, I would say, the, about the last 30 years. When you start removing consequences, uh -huh. consequences drive behavior. You pull out all the consequences, and people will do whatever they can get by with. That's human nature, and we let people buy with too much. I mean, don't you see that a lot where people try to blame others for things they do? It's they choose to do? It's always somebody else's yeah. fault. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Uh, you talk about business and you say that uh, uh, people follow dreams instead of working hard. What do you mean by that? Well, dreams don't come true. And when they start in business, they say, I'm just going to follow my dream. I'm going to follow my bliss. <laughs> I'm going to follow my passion. Absolutely ignorant. It means they have no idea what it takes to really run a business. And I tell people, dreams don't come true. Plans come true. Get a plan for how to run your business. Do you think that people in general don't work as hard as we all used to? Yeah, we're yeah. a much lazier society. And one of the things around ethics and work is that when you look at the stats, 25% uh, of the time people spend on the job, if they have a computer on the desk, is on personal stuff. That's stealing. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why you did go. you have to bring I'm that up? Swaying. Come on, Larry. That's part of our job around here. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, you end the book, I'm, I'm actually surprised only this amount of much uh, on uh, government. You, you pose the question, what's wrong with our government? What is wrong with our government? It, it's a strange time. Yeah, it, it goes back again to core values. We elect people who we know are dishonest. And then we blame them for being dishonest. We knew that ahead of time. And I wrote the book sort of in the middle of the election cycle, looking mm -hmm. around saying, well, he says she lied, and she says he lies, and then they try to justify it. Core values are not conditional. You know, you don't get to lie because they lie. You've got to be honest all the time. And that's one of the reasons we're in a mess. So how do we fix all this, Larry? Uh, you can't. You can't, <laughs> no, really, you can't fix the, the government. You can't fix society. You're not going to fix anything. The only thing you can do is fix yourself. Fix yourself. That's what it's going to come down to. We need to evaluate our actions every single day to make sure that we're showing respect to other people, being honest, have integrity in our own lives, and then spread that out to our kids and our families, maybe to the people we work with for and around. They'll pay attention to our example. Right. I was, uh, I was going to ask you, if, the, as far as kids go, it starts with the parents, I would imagine. Absolutely, it does. And when we show our kids that we have respect for others, Respect in that we don't pull out in front of other people. Respect that we tell the truth uh, in all situations. That's what our kids need to see us do. Well, Larry, that's, that's really interesting. Uh, it's a great read. I appreciate you coming on, you and uh, good luck with it. Thanks. And we'll talk to you it's real soon. Be all right. All right. I think so, too.